Welcome back to Create Your Best Sound. If you're watching this video, then that means you have already watched video number one on buzzing and making a sound on the mouthpiece. If you haven't watched that video yet, please go back and watch that one first to make sure you're doing everything in the proper order. In this video, we're going to talk about proper posture when you're playing your instrument and how to properly hold your horn, which includes a very important detail on what to do with your right hand. So, to begin, let's all start sitting down. It's much easier to figure out how to hold your instrument when you're sitting down than when you're standing up. Make sure you're sitting so that your feet can be flat on the floor in your chair. For most people, that means that you're going to need to sit on the edge of the chair, like you can see I am doing right now. So my feet are flat on the floor, my back is straight and comfortable. When I hold the instrument, to start, we're going to learn by placing the bell of the instrument, which is the big wide part at the end, on our right leg. I am going to move my right leg over to the side of the chair. You don't play horn with your legs together. They need to be apart because we want the bell of our instrument to be going out to the side. If our legs are together, then that means our bell is pointing into our body and the sound is going into our body instead of out into the room. Okay, so it's very important that our right leg be over to the side far enough so that the bell is going out into the room. So start with your leg over to the side. Put your bell on your leg. And with your left hand, with the fingers on the keys, and if your horn has a thumb key, making sure that your horn is on the thumb key, which we also call the trigger, and your pinky in the pinky ring, you're going to lift the horn up. Now, we worked very hard in the first video on placing the mouthpiece in exactly the correct place. You want to take all of that information and apply it here. So when you're bringing the instrument up, make sure that the mouthpiece is going exactly where you placed it in the first video. Now, as you can see, for me, when my feet are flat on the floor and I bring my horn up, my mouthpiece is far too low. I have a long torso, which means that my mouthpiece is going to end up lower than it should. So what I need to do in that case is I prop my heel up on the chair leg just a little bit and magically it makes my leg high enough that I can bring the mouthpiece directly where it needs to go. If you have the opposite problem, if you are on the shorter side, and when you bring the horn up to your face, the mouthpiece is too high, maybe on your nose, there are a couple different things you can try. The first and simplest is just to bring your leg even farther over to the side to bring the mouthpiece lower down, okay? If you are still quite short, maybe you're still in elementary school or you haven't had that growth spurt yet and it is just way too high, what you can do to start is sit more to one side of your chair over to the left side and you can actually have the bell rest on the right side of the chair. Now as you can see that's far too low for me but again if you're very small and just learning how to play the horn that might be what you need to do for these first few stages while you're learning. Then as soon as you're tall enough you can bring the instrument back onto your leg. I'm going to get back into my position with my leg up a little bit and I'm ready to go. Okay, now as you can see I've brought the mouthpiece so that it can be in the correct place 
while I have a straight back and a straight neck, okay? I'm not craning my neck to reach the mouthpiece, right? And I'm also not straining my neck down this way to get to the mouthpiece. My neck is perfectly straight and I bring it right up. Always remember you are the boss. The horn is not the boss. So you bring the horn to you. Don't bring yourself to the horn, okay? Bring the horn to you where you need it to be. Now, let's talk about what my right hand is doing in the bell. It's extremely important that your right hand be placed properly in the bell. It is not just a place for your hand to rest. Believe it or not, your right hand is actually part of the instrument. It helps it play in tune with the right sound. And even when you're getting up high enough, it helps the right notes to come out when your hand's in the proper place. So this is very important. To get the correct shape of your hand, start with it out of the bell. So take your right hand and I want you to pretend that you have a small pool of water right in the middle of the palm of your hand. And your job is to not let any of that water spill out. In order to do that, as you can see, I have my fingers together. My thumb is even pressed against the rest of my hand, right? There's no gaps. And my fingers are relatively straight and my hand makes a little bit of a cup shape. Not too far over, right? And not perfectly straight, just a little bit of a cup shape. Now, I'm going to take this position and place it so that the back of my fingers and the back of my hand are what is going into the bell. Your horn should have a brace right here. You can use this brace as a guide point. You want your hand to go to the right of that brace, okay? So this is basically what my hand looks like inside of the bell. Again, it's very important that it's the back of your hand that is making contact with the bell. This is not a correct hand position. This doesn't do what we need it to do, okay? So we want the back of our hand. The only time you would do this with your hand is again, if you are very, very small. So maybe those of you who need to play with the bell resting on the side of your chair, maybe for a while you'll need to play with your hand like this but that's really the only circumstance because again, it's not a proper hand position. It doesn't really do what we need it to do when we play the horn. So it's important that you're making this cup shape and that it's the back of your fingers that are coming in contact with the instrument. So bring your horn up. We've got our hand position. And when I put my hand in for me, it goes in right about to where my bottom thumb knuckle is. That's kind of the last point of contact for me. If your hand is smaller than mine, I've got a pretty large hand. If your hand is smaller than mine, it might go in a little further. If your hand's larger than mine, it might be out a little bit further. So again, it depends on the size of your hand. But a pretty good guide point is that bottom thumb knuckle right there if you can. All right. We've got our hand position, we've got our posture, we know how to make a sound on the mouthpiece, so we're ready to make some sounds on our horn. So please go check out the next video and I'll show you how to do that. Thank you so much, I look forward to seeing you soon.